part two. Okay, so we are back with the halogens, Ms. Fabra. Mm -hmm. This time, I want to talk about the chemical properties, in other words, the reactivity. Okay. All right, so again, let's write them out. So I've got fluorine, I've got chlorine, I've got bromine, and I've got iodine. And I know that they are all, they all exist as diatomic, yeah. they are diatomic molecules, yeah. and they, as you go down, the melting and boiling point increase because yes. the intermolecular forces are stronger yeah. because they're bigger yeah keep going right so now we are going to talk about a different trend go right? on. the the trend in reactivity is this as we go down the group yeah they become less reactive okay does that mean that the most reactive one is fluorine and then the least reacting one is iodine exactly oh okay yeah so uh let me explain to you why that is yeah all right let me uh, draw out uh, an atom of fluorine. So fluorine is like this. So there's F. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, fluorine only has, let me get this right, fluorine's got two shells. So there's one there. Mm -hmm. And then we've got the second shell with one, two, three. So four. it's got nine overall electrons. Nine overall electrons. Okay, like that. yeah. All right. Now, do we, let's compare it maybe to one of the ones underneath it. Yeah. Which one would you like to compare it to? Chlorine. Chlorine? Okay. Yeah. So chlorine is one underneath it. So chlorine will have seven electrons in the outer shell, but because chlorine is one further down, it's in the next period down. So that means that it's got one more one, shell. One more shell. Yeah. So it's bigger. It's bigger. Absolutely. Um. Okay. So chlorine is, you can see, bigger atom. Can we do bromine as well? Just um, aware of what's happening. Yeah, what? absolutely. Yeah. So bromine again is one further down. Mm -hmm. So bromine has got uh, an extra shell again. So one. Two. So four shells. Four shells. Because it's one period below. Because it's one period below, yeah. Oh. Because right. the period number tells you how many shells, shells it has. Yeah. Okay. So now you can see bromine actually really quite big, isn't it? It's huge. Yeah, keep going. All right. So there we've got a nice picture which shows us what happens as you go down. Yeah. Now, what do you think my halogens need to do in order to react? They need to gain an electron because they, they have seven. Electrons and they need eight, so right. they need to gain. Them. So all of these need to gain one electron. Yeah. Now, in fluorine, our electron, our incoming electron, can get quite close to the nucleus because it's the nucleus that's going to be attracting this electron because Why? the nucleus is positive, it's full of protons. Okay. Also, oh, the positive attracts the negative. Yeah, exactly. Okay, yeah. So, in fluorine, what we've got is we've got a very, very short distance between the nucleus and the incoming electron. Right? Okay. Now, what if we went down to chlorine? Well, now the incoming electron is further away from the nucleus. Oh, because there are more shells? Because there are more shells. So, so there's a bigger distance, but there's also an extra shell in between. So mm. there's more shielding. Uh, shielding? What does shielding mean again? Sorry? So shielding is like um, the electron is being shielded from the attraction of the nucleus oh, by these shells. Okay. And again, if we went down one further to bromine, right? Mm -hmm. the, the incoming electron mm -hmm. is now really far away from the bromine. So what are the, the what are the points that I need to say then uh, about the reactivity? Okay, so what we need to say is this. Uh, as we go down the group, yeah. first thing we need to say is this. The distance... Mm -hmm. Uh, between the electron and the nucleus yeah. increases. So the distance increases. Yeah. Right? Remember, as we go down, we are increasing the number of shells, so the shielding increases. When I write it, though, I need to say that the, the, the distance between the nucleus and the incoming electron, is that yes, right? Yes, yeah. distance between uh, incoming electron and the nucleus okay. increases. Shielding. What is that? <laughs> Do you mean to write it again? Yeah. Right, so... The shielding oh, okay. increases. Yeah. Okay. Now, because the distance increases and the shielding increases, what that means is that the attraction, mm -hmm. again, this is the attraction between an incoming electron and the nucleus, the mm -hmm. attraction decreases. Mm. Right? And if the attraction decreases, that, that means it's more difficult to gain an electron. I see. Just just so that I make sure that I understand. Distance increases, yep. you mean that there are more shells? Uh, yes, basically. Okay. Oh. 
plants so that I remember it. More shells. Yeah. Okay. Good. All right. Perfect. Anything else? No, I think that's it. Great, great, great.